So good morning again. Uh, we're going to continue with uh, circuits and we're going to look at the different types of circuits. Uh, our last session we did uh, some basic uh, uh, simple circuit drawings. So we're going to uh, proceed. All right. So, so when you have more than two electrical devices to hook up to a circuit, you can hook it up in, in a number of ways. And you can hook it up either in series, parallel, or a combination of series and parallel circuits. And we're going to go over those. So the, the, the understanding of the different types of circuits is crucial uh, to current electricity. So let's um, see what we're talking about. All right, so this is a, a series connection. Of course, when you have a circuit, you have a power source. So this is our power source, the battery. Uh, and then you have the external uh, circuit with the wires. There is a switch here, okay? So the switch will complete the circuit. When, you, when, the, circuit, when the switch is open, the circuit is not complete. Uh, when you close the switch, then the, the circuit is complete, the wires. And then these are the electrical uh, uh, devices, or we call them the load. Uh, in the circuit, you're going to represent them as uh, resistors. Okay, So you have one, two, three. So this is what we call a series uh, circuit. You see that the, um, when the current uh, travels, from, from the battery, and it comes through the external circuit. If the, the switch is closed, it's going to travel through the, the, the external circuit, that's the wire, and it's going to go through the different loads. Okay, so there is just one pathway for the current to flow. Uh, okay, so this is a series circuit, and you would represent this, you represent the series circuit like this, okay? Um, you know, we didn't put the, 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 the switch in, but um, let me just draw the switch so as not to confuse you. So when you put your switch in, uh, when the switch is open, okay, it looks something like this, okay? And then you have to bring the switch down to close it. So, but you have your power source right here, the longer... Um, limb or the longer arm represent the positive uh, terminal and then uh, the shorter arm or the shorter limb the negative terminal remember that current is going to flow from the positive terminal <clears throat> through the external circuit <clears throat> this is a load an electrical uh, device so this is one of our bulb then it uh, passes through the bulb it travels through the uh, the, the wire, then it passed through the other bulb. That is the current we're talking about. So it's, it's flowing through the wire again and it passed through the other bulb. Okay? So th this is how you would represent uh, the circuit, uh, the series circuit. All right, so. All right, so this is another uh, circuit which is in series, you have the battery and you have two loads, okay? Two electrical devices. It could be, it could be lamps or it could be something else, okay? And this is how you would uh, draw the circuit. Again, the longer limb is the positive pole, the shorter limb is the negative pole. This is the internal circuit, the battery. Remember, the battery, all the battery does is to provide the electrical potential difference, okay? And then the external circuit, once you connect the wires to the battery, the, the, the charge is going to flow from the positive terminal through the wires. It's going to go through this load, come through the wire again, go through this load, and then it's going to go back to the negative uh, terminal. Okay. All right. The, 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 there are some important points about series circuits, and as uh, as as was shown, with a series circuit, you have a single pathway for charge to flow. 
So the charge is going to flow uh, in a single uh, pathway. Uh, there are no branching points in the in the external circuit or in the, the, the line. There is no branching point, as we showed before. If if we um, one one experiment that we do is when we have uh, when we say we're doing the experiment to, to look at series circuit, what we do would put a, 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 a an indicator bulb right here. Okay, so we'll put an indicator bulb. Let me just uh, show you. So we'll just stick an indicator bulb right here. Okay. And what we do would add more electrical devices or we can add more bulbs or whatever. So we gradually had electrical devices one at a time and see what happened to the indicator bulb. When we do that, when we add more resistors or more electrical devices, we'll see that the, 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 the indicator bulb will get dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. Okay? That is one experiment that um, we do in the physics lab. So we would add additional resistors or electrical devices and look at the indicator uh, uh, bulb and it will get dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. Okay. All right. Let's, um, so with the series circuit, is a single pathway for the charge to flow. There is no branching uh, points. Uh, as more bulbs are added or more electrical devices are added, the brightness of, uh, of, of the indicator bulb decreases, or each bulb. You, you can look at it, but you know when you're doing the experiment, you can just use an indicator bulb. And then when you add additional electrical devices, the bulb will get dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. That is indicating that the current is decreasing through the system. Remember from your Ohm's law equation, I is equal to V over R, or V is equal to I over R. So if the current is decreasing, the voltage remains the same, that means your resistance is increasing. So your overall resistance increases in a series circuit when, when, you, when you had more resistors or more electrical devices. So this is an important observation and uh, you need to understand why. So as you add more and more resistors, that is electrical devices, the current is going to decrease. And the current decrease because the, the overall resistance increases, okay? The overall, because you're adding, you know, more and more resistors. So when you add them up, the, the, the overall resistance increases. Very important with a um, series circuit. So you have a number of bulbs in, in, in a series circuit, as we've shown before. You may have three, four, five, whatever number. If one of the bulb is not working, or if you remove one of the bulb, the others will go out because the circuit is not complete. So if one of the bulbs is not working or you remove it, all the others will be out, okay? Each bulb is needed for the others to work. That is, in order to complete the circuit, you need all the bulbs, okay? And if you remember a long time ago when we had uh, uh, Christmas lights, Christmas tree lights, that was one of the problems. If, if, if one of the bulb is blown, or if one of the bulb is removed, then the, the, there's no light in the system because they were wired in, in series. The bulbs are wired in series. So a series circuit, again, a series circuit is one which has only one pathway for electricity to flow. That is the charge can only flow in one, path, in one pathway. All devices are located along this single pathway. 
and any break in the circuit will stop the flow of electricity, okay? An example over here. You can see one pathway, okay? The flow of charge is like that, okay? Um, any break in the circuit will stop the flow of electricity, okay? So this is a series circuit as opposed to a parallel circuit. When you have a parallel circuit, um, say we have two bulbs, okay? So you can see we have our power source. We can attach the first bulb like this, and then the second bulb, we attach it like this. So we draw this circuit. This is our power source. The long limb is a positive uh, terminal, short limb negative terminal, and then we have branch points. So the first bulb will represent it like this. You remember our symbols, this is uh, a lamp or a bulb. And then the second one will represent it like that. Again, if you had more bulbs, then you can, in, in the parallel circuit, you have one, two, three branch points. We have three electrical devices. And <clears throat> we can do an experiment, just like we did in the, the, the series circuit, where we have an indicator lamp. <clears throat> so we do our indicator lamp. So this is our indicator lamp. And we can see what happened as we had more resistors or more electrical devices. As we had more and more electrical devices, we can have a look and see what happened to the indicator lamp. Okay? What will happen, uh, which is different from your series circuit, when you had more resistors, the indicator lamp gets brighter and brighter and brighter, indicating that your current is getting larger and larger and larger, the more resistors you had. The only reason or the only way the current can get larger is if your resistance decrease, okay? All right, so again, our parallel circuit, we have, so we have two lamps, okay? We have branch point, one branch in, is, and is inserted here. The other one is inserted there. We have our switch. This is an open circuit. We have to close the circuit in order for the, the circuit to be completed. So again, with a parallel circuit, as we discuss, if you do your experiment, the addition of more resistors causes the indicator bulb to get brighter. Okay, as the number of resistors or electrical devices increases, the overall current also increases. Again, from Ohm's law equation, current high is equal to V over R. If the voltage is constant and the current is increasing, then it means that the resistance is decreasing. So as you had more and more uh, uh, resistors, the overall resistance is uh, decrease. The overall resistance decrease, okay? Because as, you know, we, we are doing the experiment and we show that as you had more and more resistors, the indicator bulb is getting brighter and brighter. The only, uh, the only way for the, the bulb to get brighter is if the current increases, okay? And the current increase because the resistance decrease. Just looking at our Ohm's law equation. Current increase because the resistance decrease. The overall resistance decrease. So removing a bulb from the circuit will not cause the others to go out. So this is a more workable situation. So just imagine you in your household, if you need all your electrical devices to be to be to be on in order for one to work that would not be a, a practical situation because you're talking about your your refrigerator has to be on your light has to be on your toaster uh everything has to be on for for anyone to work so in your house your connection is uh, is, is parallel and some may be in parallel and series but Overall, it's a parallel connection, parallel circuit, all right? Important point is that as you had additional resistors, the overall resistance decrease. 
okay? So again, uh, when all the devices are connected using parallel connections, the circuit is referred to E as a parallel circuit. And in a parallel circuit, each de device is placed in its own separate branch. So if you look over here, we have two lamps. Each is placed in its own separate branch. Okay, there are multiple pathways for charge to flow. It's going to flow down here, and it's going to flow there, okay? As opposed to a series circuit, there's just one pathway. And then in this situation where you have three resistors, you have three pathways, okay? All right. Another important point about parallel circuits, um, or very, very important point about parallel circuits, and we're going to use this, this information when we start doing uh, calculations uh, uh, with our different circuits. So it's very important to understand this. The voltage drop across each resistor is the same. So the voltage drop across this resistor is the same as across this one. And if you add multiple, it's the same, the voltage drop. Voltage drop, uh, you know, is equal to IR which is equal to the, the current flowing through uh, that circuit uh, times the resistance or, or the current flowing through uh, this electrical device uh, times the, the resistance of this de device. So the voltage at each resistor is the same. Another important point, the sum of currents through each resistor is equal to the current flowing from the voltage source. So if we have a voltage source here, the, 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 the current flowing here is going to be equal to when you add up the current here and there. It's going to be equal to this, which is going to equal to the current leaving uh, and going back to the, 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 the voltage source. Very important. So we're going to use uh, these informations to do um, or calculations when we look at circuits. All right. So those are the two uh, most important points about parallel circuits. Now you can have circuits in combinations, and uh, you can have a combined circuit. So you can see you have uh, two resistors there in in series, and then. Uh, we have two in, in parallel. So this is a series parallel uh, combined circuit. And then, okay, so it's a series. So you can have them in series, a combined circuit, series and parallel. Uh, so you can have a pure series, you can have a pure parallel, and then a combine between your series and your parallel. So let's look at a few questions. Um, so it says, observe the electrical wiring below and indicate whether the connections are series or parallel connection and explain your choice. So let's look at this, okay? This one, uh, the, 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 there's not a single pathway. Uh, you have branching, you have this one branch there, okay? And then one branch, so one branch here, one branch there. So this is a, a voltmeter. So you have one branch here with a lamp and one branch here with a, some other electrical device. Okay, so this, this looks like our, our parallel circuit because you have branching points. Okay, um, and then let's look at this one. Okay, so we have an electrical device right there, uh, a resistor here, we have a lamp here. So we have three electrical devices um, but there, there is one pathway. There is no branch in one path. So this is our definition of a series circuit. All right, so let's look at this one. There are two electric uh, circuits. Uh, so two electric circuits are diagram below. Uh, for each circuit, indicate which devices are connected in series and which two devices are connected uh, in parallel. So let's look at this. We have our battery source right there. We have our... Um, a meter which measure current. We have a resistor, so an electrical device, and then we have um, uh, a branch, okay, with a bulb in this uh, portion of the circuit and a speaker in this portion of the circuit, okay. So, so 
these so this is a combined circuit this is a combined circuit so the the the, the bulb and speaker are in parallel and uh this is in series okay so it's a combined uh circuit all right so these two are in parallel okay and then this resistor is in con connected in, in in series with that all right so if we look at this one now um so the bulb and the resistor are in parallel okay um and then we so these, these are combined circuits so you have a speaker and uh uh, it, which is in series with the, the, the parallel circuit. So this is a combined series parallel uh, circuit. So these are the, you know, these are basic uh, uh, circuits uh, to, to show you the difference between series and parallel circuit. Or next session, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna look at more complex circuits and we're gonna do the mathematics associated with uh, these circuits. So, if we have a parallel circuit with, with resistors like this, say a four on a four uh, uh, ohm uh, resistors, uh, what is the equivalent resistance? Okay, so remember what we said, when you have a circuit in parallel, when you have a circuit in parallel, the, the more resistors you had, the current is gonna get, is, the current is gonna increase. Uh, the resistance is going to decrease. So, what when you, when you do the math, you'll see that one over your overall resistance is equal to one over the the individual resistance. The sum of that. So, if you have three, it will be one over R1 plus one over R2, one over R2, this is two, plus one over, say if you have three resistors, this is how you'd compute it, okay? One over R3, okay? So, one over the overall resist so one over the overall resistance is equal to one over the sum of uh, the different re uh, resistors. So if if these two uh, resistors are in parallel, then one over one over R is going to equal to one over four plus uh, one over four. So for the for the first one, one over R is equal to one over four plus one over four so one over four plus one over four is equal to two over four so with two over four is a half so when you solve that, you say R is equal to two, okay? So that's how you get the resistance, R is equal to two. And then for this one, if each resistor is six ohms, then the overall resistance, so one over R, one over R is equal to one over six, plus one over six which is equal to two over six so R in that situation is equal to six over two which is three so R is equal to three And then the last one is each resistance is 12. So R is equal, one over R is equal to one over 12, okay? Plus one over 12. 
which is equal to 2 over 12. So when, when you solve for r, r is equal to 12 over 2, which is equal to 6. So r is equal to 6. Okay, so you, the overall, by adding more resistors, the overall resistance is going to uh, decrease. Okay? All right, so these are important uh, concepts that we are going to need in, if we're going to calculate, um, you know, uh, calculate, uh, uh, do calculations in circuits. Okay? So the, the, the voltage across, the voltage drop across each resistor is the same. The current leaving from the um, the the current leaving from the 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 battery source is is gonna be the same as um, the 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 current uh, leaving from uh, the resistor combined resistors. Alright so so very important concepts okay very important concept, so you have to go over it, understand it, and then when you know, well, when we do problems, then it's a it's a bit a much clearer. Uh, uh, okay, all right. So we're gonna stop here, and um, next session we'll do problems related to uh, the different type of circuits.